So let us look at pyruvate decarboxylation. So what is pyruvate decarboxylation? Pyruvate decarboxylation refers to not just pyruvate decarboxylation. I want us to look at the meaning of decarboxylation. So decarboxylation is the removal of a carboxyl group from a carboxylic acid and in the process carbon dioxide is kicked out. So let me give you an example of decarboxylation. So I want to give you an example of decarboxylation of an amino acid. So we know that amino acid has a general formula of this. It has an amino group, a central carbon, our functional group, our carboxyl group, and a hydrogen atom. So decarboxylation of an amino acid takes place in presence of a decarboxylase pyridoxal phosphate. This is an enzyme. Decarboxylase pyridoxal phosphate. So decarboxylation reaction normally takes place in presence of our hydrogen ion, but is in an acidic condition. So when we carry out decarboxylation, we say that decarboxylation involves kicking out or removal of carboxyl group to form carbon dioxide. And the carboxyl group in this process is uh, replaced by a hydrogen ion. So that becomes the hydrogen atom. So our new amino, uh, uh, our new our new compound is called an amine and it does not have the carboxyl group in instead the carboxyl group is replaced with a hydrogen atom like that so today i would like us to look at something different <coughs> because pyruvate decarboxylation is um, slightly different from this as it involves um, a group of enzymes and it involves several steps that I have uh, highlighted. So I want you to go to the internet and search Tom Rugenda Waswa. You will find, um, find a video in which I have explained the steps in pyruvate decarboxylation. And by the way, before we proceed, I would like to encourage you to Subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate Because it is still growing So glycolysis only leads to formation of a limited amount of energy and such energy is stored in the chemical bonds of uh, glucose So pyruvate that is formed during glycolysis has to travel into the matrix of the mitochondria to undergo decarboxylation Decarboxylation reaction is normally facilitated by a group of enzymes known as a pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. So the reaction, pyruvate decarboxylation is also known as pyruvate dehydrogenase complex reaction. Right? Yeah. So the reaction prepares for TCA cycle. Why do we say it prepares for TCA cycle? Because it produces our acetyl-CoA. This particular, this particular thing. Mm -hmm. That particular molecule called acetyl CoA that is normally used as a as a fuel in the TCA cycle. So in the next uh, several lectures, we shall be discussing the TCA cycle. We shall be seeing what happens to our acetyl CoA when it enters the TCA cycle. Anyway, let us focus on our let us focus on our TCA cycle. So we say that the reaction also releases carbon dioxide and also our important coenzymes in the reduced form that are normally used in the electron transport chain. So I want us to look at the enzymes of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. Let me put this one here. So the enzymes enzymes of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex are as follows. Enzymes of 
पाइल रोदेट डिहाइड्रोजेनेस कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉम्प्लेक्स So we have the first enzyme known as pyruvate dehydrogenase. Let me use black. So we have an enzyme called pyruvate dehydrogenase. We have an enzyme called pyruvate dehydrogenase, also E1. So the role of this enzyme is to is to catalyze redox decarboxylation. It catalyzes redox decarboxylation. So all these roles of the enzymes are well described in the description of our pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. We shall be discussing pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. So our second enzyme, our second enzyme will be, it will be dihydrolipoyl transacetylase. Let me use, let me try to be uniform. So this one is pyruvate dehydrogenase E1. Number two is dihydrolipoy trans acetylase. That is E2. So dihydrolipoyl transacetylase, from the look of the name dihydrolipoyl transacetylase, it transfers acetyl group to our coenzyme A. So that is its function, transfers acetyl group. To coenzyme A. Then, our third enzyme, which is our last bond, is called dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase. Dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase. So dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase, the role of dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase is it reforms oxidized version of our lipoamide. It reforms oxidized version of lipoamide. That is it. So let us look at the core enzymes. So those are enzymes of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. So this one, it catalyzes redox decarboxylation, which we, we can easily explain this through the steps of pyruvate decarboxylation. So the video is already uploaded. You can go through the steps in pyruvate decarboxylation. So let us look at the coenzymes involved. So, Coenzymes. The coenzymes involved are coenzymes involved are uh, number one thiam thiamine pyrophosphate thiamine pyrophosphate lipoic acid. Coenzyme A, FAD, and 
So, thiamine pyrophosphate, lipoic acid, coenzyme M, FAD, and NAD. So, let us look at um, each of them. So, th thiamine pyrophosphate has got um, a five-membered ring, the same to lipoamide group of the lipoic acid. We shall be looking at it again. Then, coenzyme A, we shall look at it. Flavin adenine dinucleotide. Then, this NAD. So, it is important that you understand the structure of thiamine pyrophosphate. So, in this case, thiamine pyrophosphate, you have to remember that it is drawn like this. So, this is our R1. And this is our R2. So we are only drawing the most important structures of, uh, of this particular molecule. So thiamine pyrophosphate, we shall be using this particular structure. Then lipoic acid, we shall be using this structure for lipoamide. We shall be using this structure. So this one is um, the most important structure where we have our disulfide bond that is normally used to transfer the electrons. So this is a very, very important part that we shall also be focusing on. Then the rest, you will really understand them. Then I want also you to know that, um, I want you to, to know the order in which they react. I have come up with um, a mnemonic for the same. So for you to remember the order in which this particular molecule is reacting, I want you to remember TLC fan without you. This is thiamine pyrophosphate in adenine and nucleotide, that is FAD, then NAD plus. This is an NAD plus. So thank you very much. In the next lecture, we shall be looking at, we shall be describing pyruvate dehydrogenase complex enzyme itself. And then after that, I want you now to go and look at the steps in pyruvate decarboxylation. So have a have a good day.